Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about the residual analysis, which is an important concept in statistics and data science. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Your support will encourage me to produce more videos related to statistic, Lean Six Sigma and operation management. Residual analysis is the primary tool for determining whether the assumed regression model is appropriate. The deviations between the actual and predicted values are called errors or residuals, where y sub i is the observed value of the dependent variable for the i observation. y hat sub i is the estimated value of the dependent variable for the i observation. Since a residual may be viewed as the deviation between the data and the fit, it is also a measure of the variability in the response variable not explained by the regression model. Analysis of the residuals is an effective way to discover several types of model inadequacies. As we will see, plotting residuals is a very effective way to investigate how well the regression model fits the data. The better the line fits the data, the smaller the residuals. There is one line in particular that is very interesting, and it is called the best fit line. This is the line that best fits the given set of data. The best fit line is a unique line such that the sum of the residuals is equal to zero and the sum of the squares of the residuals is minimum. To confirm that the regression analysis is valid, Verify assumptions about the model error term. Three major assumptions which are Normally distributed Constant variance for all fitted values Random and independent over time These assumptions provide the theoretical basis for the t-test and the f-test used to determine whether the relationship between x and y is significant, and for the confidence and prediction interval estimates presented. If the assumptions about the error term appear questionable, the hypothesis tests about the significance of the regression relationship and the interval estimation results may not be valid. An analysis of the residuals is an important step in determining whether the assumptions are appropriate. Graphical analysis of residuals is a very effective way to investigate the adequacy of the fit of a regression model and to check the underlying assumptions. In this section, we introduce and illustrate the basic residual plots. Let's start with the first assumption of normally distributed. How to verify the assumption of normally distributed. A method of checking the normality assumption is to construct a normal probability plot of the residuals. The points in this plot should generally form a straight line if the residuals are normally distributed. If the points on the plot depart from a straight line, the normality assumption may be invalid. The normal probability plot shows heavy or light tails in the distribution. The points on the plot depart from a straight line. Hence, the normality assumption is violated. Small departures from the normality assumption do not affect the model greatly. But gross nonnormality is potentially more serious, as the T or F statistics and confidence and prediction intervals depend on the normality assumption. Second assumption is constant variance for all fitted values. How to verify the assumption of constant variance? A method of checking the constant variance is to construct a residuals versus fitted values plot of the residuals. This plot should show a random pattern of residuals on both sides of zero. If a point lies far from the majority of points, it may be an outlier. There should not be any recognizable patterns in the residual plot. For instance, if the spread of residual values tend to increase as the fitted values increase, then this may violate the constant variance assumption. The curved band or a nonlinear pattern implies that the linear relationship between y and the regressor x is not correct. Thus, either higher order terms should be considered. Third assumption is random and independent. How to verify the assumption of random and independent? 
A method of checking the random and independent or to construct a residuals versus order plot. This is a plot of all residuals in the order that the data was collected and can be used to find non-random error, especially of time-related effects. This plot helps you to check the assumption that the residuals are uncorrelated with each other. In this example, residuals are not randomly scattered around zero. It indicates that residuals are not independent over time. Let's take a look at an example. Data from a sample of 10 pharmacies are used to examine the relation between prescription sales volume and percentage of prescription ingredients purchased directly from the supplier. The sample data are shown in table below. From the scatter plot, it shows a positive linear relationship between percentage of prescription ingredients purchased and prescription sales volume. The calculated slope is 1.97 and intercept is 4.698. You can watch another video to understand more about the method of calculate slope and intercept. The least square regression y is equal to 4.698 plus 1.97 x. We can conclude that the estimated average increase in sales volume for each additional percent of ingredient purchased is 1.97 or 1,970 pieces. With the regression model, we can estimate the predicted value for each observation in x. For example, when x is equal to 25, the predicted value is 24.4. The residual is the deviation or difference between the actual and predicted value. Hence, the residual is 25 minus 24.4, which is equal to 0.6. Essentially, this least square line is the line that best fits the data because for the sum of the residuals is equal to 0. In this example, the residual or error fulfill the three assumptions of normally distributed, constant variance for all fitted values and random and independent over time. There will be a series of videos for regression analysis. Remember to subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss out my next videos. Bye, see you next time.